Attorney General Evans. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Askins. Well, I don't know that any of us are absolutely convinced what all's in it. Um, and I think that's the problem with the bill. It was extremely voluminous, and then to know that it passed, and they immediately passed a trailer bill, it's what we call it, to try to um, make some changes in what was written, what originally came through. In Oklahoma, it's pretty clear. We have a lot of uninsured, but I don't know that, this, that we like the idea of the federal government telling us what our health plan is going to be. A few years ago, while I was still in the House, Oklahoma passed and created the Insure Oklahoma program, which became a model for many other states. As we said, this is a program that we believe Oklahomans should buy into. It requires, uh, it gives an opportunity for an employer who wants to provide health insurance for his employees to make a contribution. It allows the employee, if, if finances are available, to make a contribution. And then by using the proceeds from the tobacco tax, the state of Oklahoma makes up the rest of it, but it uses private insurance. Carriers from across the state of Oklahoma have an opportunity to do business with more employees and insure more people. That's a great program, and Oklahoma should be allowed to have more opportunity to develop that program and see how we can make it work without having to try to figure out how we do additional um, mandates that are going to come down to us from the federal government. I think it will be extremely interesting. I think the legislature is about to send to a vote of the people um, uh, an opportunity for the citizens of Oklahoma to speak on it. And as governor, I would certainly uh, try to implement and execute whatever the people of Oklahoma tell us that they want us to do. 